Next is a 21 year old male status post football injury. Uh, he sustained a right knee anterior dislocation. Uh, on initial evaluation, he did have some numbness in the SPN and DPN regions. Um, his ABIs were initially 1.1. He was closed reduced under conscious sedation and put in a knee immobilizer. Uh, he was then observed overnight for serial neuro checks and ABI checks. Uh, he then received an MRI. He was found to have an ACL tear, uh, PLC injury, MPFL tear, and uh, his concern for a PCL as well. Uh, he'll be following up outpatient for a multi-leg knee reconstruction. So what order are you going to plan on reconstructing those ligaments? I'm sorry, one more time. In what sequence are you going to reconstruct those ligaments? You're doing them all at the same time. If you were planning the reconstruction, how would you think about it? Um, I would probably do them all at the same time. So I'm not a, a sports medicine doctor, but uh, as I recall, you usually don't want to do all of them at the same time. There's a high risk of stiffness, difficulty tensioning. It gets really busy in the center of the knee. So frequently, the more the greater priority to provide stability to the knee is, is what reconstructing what elements. Tom, Tom, let me let me jump in there. Thanks, KG. Um, it's been a while since your sports since your sports rotation. Uh, the yep. pendulum has shifted a bit in that uh, doing getting it all getting it all done um, in one setting if you can. Uh, is often recommended um, and getting that done relatively early rather than delayed is typically recommended, even though reconstruction is probably recommended over repair in many or most scenarios. So meaning it used to be repair early, whatever you can, and then reconstruct the rest later. Uh, many would now try and get it all done in one setting you can repair stuff while you're there, but you reconstruct everything, meaning PLC and uh, ACL um, and PCL if needed. And yes, yes, there's definitely a high risk of stiffness. Um, that's not necessarily considered a failure. That's considered part of the course. And you, you just have to be ready to address that in perhaps 20 or 30 percent of people. Would you do an acute PCL, PLC recon or would you just try to repair it? assuming it's evolved off the fibula? So it's a good question and, and you'll get different uh, answers from, 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 from different surgeons, but there's a couple good randomized control trials that, that compare this. And even when you select out the best candidates for repair, meaning a very clean avulsion off the fibula of the PLC uh, and getting to those acutely, those patients often still do worse than an actual reconstruction. So th those there's two different studies that, that show this, that there's a pretty high failure rate up in the 30% if you just repair. So reconstruction really needs to be considered unless it's, I mean, absolutely a perfect repair. For the, that's for the PLC. For the PCL, if it's a bony avulsion, uh, a significant bony avulsion that's displaced, that one will try and repair. So this guy's a big guy from what I gather, and that's going to be a big undertaking. And, and um, uh, it may be one that gets sometimes just because of logistics, getting it all done. It can be a very long day. So we actually will stage it just for our sort of our own sanity. But, um, but, but we'll see what happens with him, what the plan is.